There's more precise actions and is just generally more difficult, I would say. But, yeah. Okay. How you doing today? Can't find a good username, though. Hope you're having a fantastic Monday. I have clawed my way back beyond the 13 gates to this mortal realm. So we've completed the Fool, the Magician, we're working, we have access to the High Priestess, Price, High Priestess, Emperor, and Empress. Um, let's go, go, keep going forward here. The High Priestess, collect blessings in order to enter the Ritual House at the summit of Mount Freitas and to negotiate a treaty with the Northerners here. Gain blessings to increase your chance of success. Do not expect to be welcomed by Northerners while treading in their lands. And survive Mount Freitas by restoring life at a camp. Okay. Um, so we have this pickpocket event where we had to get multiple successes in order to even track the guy down. But this is like the next part where we're supposed to meet the pickpocket. Um, we're gonna we're gonna keep like all of our storyline stuff if we can. Anything that has a uh, a token in it, I want that. Uh, how many of the missions have you done? I've done two of the, like, main missions so far. Uh, so we don't have a crazy amount of choices here. Uh, I, I don't know. We got a decent amount. I want the Old Maiden for sure. That's just, like, a great card. Uh, otherwise, um, this one could be bad for us. This one is, like, a combat. Equipment, gain resources, dice, and combat. If we get gold dice, thieves ambush. I wanted to take this one and um, pauper plague, man eating tree, push exchange. We don't know. Yeah, we don't know what some of these are, so I don't know. We'll go ahead and do that. All right. I actually don't really love like the super heavy weapons that much. So I don't think I'm gonna use the uh, the the Cardinal Blade or the Warrior's Axe. Like they're powerful, or the Bastion of Purification. I'm just gonna use like some of these new ones. Uh, and hopefully they're like a little bit lighter. You find yourself once again in the company of prayer and religion. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> Damn, man. Dealer, why you gotta be such a dick? Now it begins. Negotiations on behalf of the Empire. We will see how that story ends. Malaclips has somehow roped you into traveling deep into the far north on a diplomatic mission. While I usually refrain from working for the Empire, since this one takes me further away from it, I've made an exception. It'll square my debt with General Bradstrom and help help open many doors for you. What do you say? I mean, all right, fine. Excellent, bring your sword and let me do the talking, says Malaglips. I've brought plenty of supplies so we can set up camp when we are when we get hungry, okay. Damn, you got, you're got you not kidding, you got brought us a shitload of supplies. What a badass. Collect at least six blessings before meeting the High Priestess. Okay, Malaclips shares a tidbit as you commence your journey. The High Priestess is quite partial to blessings. If you can prove yourself worthy, we'd have a better chance at swaying her in her swaying in her favor. Okay. A lesson in caution awaits us all. Fucking avalanche! All right. Nature, truly wild nature. High will up in the not tolerate fury in you its done? domain unless it is its own. Okay. High up in the mountain, you see the silhouette of a man approaching through the heavy snow. He bellows through the roaring wind. Who dares trespass on the sacred grounds of our priestess? Um, hidden raiders spring down from the mountains with the dexterity of mountain goats. Damn. Mountain goats, you say. Alright. Mountain goats. Jesus. 
shit. What an ass butt. You're a jerk, you understand? They should be dead. Oh, crap. See how, see what I mean about having to do like multiple? Like, just, just flare, parrying the attack doesn't, doesn't like stop his attack or whatever. What's up, Thomas? How you doing today? You have to like, it, like potentially parry multiple times or whatever. And, uh, and if you just keep going on the offensive, it's not gonna save you. Either it's not gonna stop his attacks. Okay, Winter's Bane, knockdown Northerner. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to Northerners. Enemies in knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. Against Northerners, Repose deals 150% damage and counts double towards weapon charge. Can repose between enemy combos. Yes, I want to equip that. Hell yeah, let's go. Clash of Steel rings out, echoing through the peaks. The mountains answer with a low, ominous rumble, and a wall of white rushes toward the melee, sweeping away everything in its path. Bam. Dice. Are a constant reminder Ooh, nice. of death. I like the dice the roll being added into the game. As I'm sure you know, and they are often called bones for the material from which they were crafted. Here, however, they may also bring a touch of life. You seek shelter against the bluff, pressing close to the rock base as the avalanche roars overhead. When the trembling stops, you are miraculously unscathed. Yeah, I'm a fucking wizard. Have you seen the Pendulum minigame? Nope, not yet. Your assailant's weapon juts from the snow. As you as near, you realize it's still clenched in his hand, his body buried in the, uh, buried to the wrist by the avalanche. Let's retrieve the weapon. All right, I'm not gonna equip it, but I can sell that. You pried the weapon from the frozen hand and continued the mountain before the raider has a chance to free himself. The mountain itself pushes you back. A sudden blizzard slows your progress through Mountain Freitas. The bitter winds pierce your skin like shards of glass. Okay, we're gonna come back to this. this is the, that's the exit. Be careful where one takes refuge. Oh, shit. Even in the worst of storms. Oh, God! The climb becomes unbearable as a ferocious blizzard sweeps the mountain. You seek shelter in a cave and desperately fight off the onset of frostbite. So one thing that's like pretty unique about two compared to one is like we're we're in like settings, like very much more of a setting uh, than than we were bef in one. Like you were in areas and maybe delving deeper into the dungeon and, and like heading towards a boss, but in this it's like we're we're on this fucking mountain and it's pretty fucking rough, and and they have like very 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 much have uh, have. Um, like events specific to each area in which we are traveling or traversing or whatever. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Malaclips forges the firewood saying, this log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Access to the campfire at any time between encounters. Uh, campfire can be used to consume food, trade, or review your mission. Okay. I don't want to camp yet. I understand your beginnings were humble. Okay, this Even is the so, pickpocket that we're going to meet. You meet Merrick at the square he instructed. He gestures to a carpet seller at the bazaar. The Reeve, he explains. Watch and listen. If the Lord got wind you were here, you were short on your taxes, there would be trouble, says the Reeve. Mind you, I don't... I do like this rug. Better you hand that over than all your stock. What do you say? I've not... And that's a rare masterpiece from the Eastern Pelt, says the flustered rug merchant. As the altercation continues, you notice the Reeves' pouch hanging open. So you see it then, Merrick says with a grin. You know it's only really stealing if you get caught. I mean, I think I'm so I should be stealing here, right? That's the spirit, he says. Now remember, the trick is to know, is to know when to stop, but if you're any good, you won't need to. You move behind Reeve while pretending to admire the carpets on display. As he continues to haggle, you slide your hand into the pouch. Yeah, nice. 
Okay, we're gonna steal more. I think I think I'm gonna be okay with uh, with 13. I think I'm gonna be okay with 13. It's pretty easy to follow still, but I don't know how difficult it's gonna get. And also, there's only gonna be one, uh, two chances of success, like 50/50. So I could get lucky and we could do it, but I don't know. We're gonna pocket our spoils and leave. Is that it? Merrick says. Well, I guess you're not as good as I thought. You pocket your spoils and he disappears into the crowd. Shit, I probably don't get the fucking token then. Damn it! Oh, I need to get real fucking greedy, I guess. Oh, that sucks. 50%, he had a good chance. It was actually better than 50%, but I still didn't want to take the risk. In the cold, because I, didn't, because I wanted the token. I didn't Women know... Women hold these mountains together. God even damn blizzards, the man. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't know... Uh... I wanted the token. You know what I mean? I didn't know I needed to steal more to get the token. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Mylock Club torches the firewood, saying, This log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Dude, I don't... I mean... I don't, don't want to camp. With the least of notice, Fucking avalanches the everywhere, dude! What is with these avalanches? Slide away. Better than 50 because you can watch the guards. Right, exactly. That's what I was surprises. saying. That's why I said that. compared to one um i like it I, I like it at least as much as one i think i might like it more than one the combat's like slower but it's also more difficult like it's not nearly as forgiving a simple defense you can do better given time uh it's not near it's uh, it's not nearly as forgiving as one it was like maybe too easy i thought in one but okay we're gonna hopefully we should be able to get this nice easy peasy a win here sets the tone for your challenge. So same as last time. I'm going to go ahead and dig him out this time. Oh, we got two fame. I don't know what the fuck that means, but okay. You brave the cold and free the raider from his icy grave. He takes a moment to catch his breath and says, You saved me. Though we are enemies by blood, taking my bl take my blessing and leave me to my thoughts. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Precise dice. Score the exact target value in a dice gamut to draw five equipment cards, then discard this card. Holy shit. Okay, we don't gain... We, push we don't on, lose food and we don't gain itself, health anymore. Attempting to thwart you. Uh, when we go back on old tiles. Witches I will tolerate. They have at least stepped into the streams of power that magicians call home. As you ascend the snowy Mount Freitas, <clears throat> you happen upon a cottage with pungent smoke wafting out, out of the chimney. Pungent smoke? My god, man. A frail old lady sweeping the snow off the path beckons you to come in. We've come in, oh, we've come in search of the high, great high priestess to deliver an important message, says Malaclips. You'd better go bearing blessings if you want to get to the High Priestess, good side. I'm fixing a batch right now if you'd like a taste. If I've got this right this time, you can take it to her, she says, stirring the cauldron. Melaclips politely declines. I've been watching what I eat, but my companion here has an insatiable appetite, he says, nudging you forward. What's up, Delayed Storm? How are you doing today? Okay. 
I don't know what any of them do. I just tried to follow whatever one was, uh, you know, whatever one was the, uh, uh, the not failure one. In combat, boost life to 75 when life drops below 25, then discard this card. Okay, cool. You take a sip of the aromatic potion and feel a warm, fuzzy feeling flowing through your body. Looks like my recipe is a success. I'm sure the High Priestess will appreciate this one. You thank the old lady and continue up Mount Freitas, paying no heed to the brewing blizzard. Okay, here's that fucking blizzard. God damn it. We're gonna go ahead and make camp here. Come on, baby. Uh, I think it's this. Yes! Nice. When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Malaclip torches the firewood, saying, This log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. Okay. Let's, uh. Let's do it. Campfires will always offer warmth and heat, but they also change with each challenge. Be prepared. A figure appears from the swirl of frost and snow. It is a northerner. Food is for sale. Food for sale is refreshed. Equipment for sale is refreshed. I come in peace, he says. I make the pilgrimage to the high priestess. I mean you no harm. Without waiting for approval, he slumps down beside you and warms his hands by the fire. Uh, we could cook food. One food restores five life. Sure. We could do trade. In my youth, I once fancied northerner, a northerner warrior. She almost cut off my head when I, when I serenaded her. Malaglip's a fucking mournful note from his loot. Young love, eh? <laughs> Alright. Malaglip sits himself, sips himself next to you, offering a sip of warm honey wine. The last time I was on Mount Freitas was uh, was when I got very drunk and lost a bet. What do you got here? I don't have enough money for that. I don't think the High Priestess will take kindly to me, the Bard notes. You, on the other hand, with your sword and sense of honor, it should be fine. <laughs> Got it. All right. I think we're good. Sleep through the long, cold night. In the morning, you pack your things and continue your climb up the mountain. All right. Fucking blizzards, man. Let me tell you, blizzards, they suck. Wretched smell of fish meat and stale, stale sweat alerts you to the presence of a bear rousing from hibernation. The ferocious beast bears its teeth and swipes at you with its giant paws. Ow! Fuck! God damn it! Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men. Not in the monsters in the darkness. I just came from a blizzard on a mountain. But alright. West Wen's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe harbor among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up and, and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disagree with the owner, see, uh, the owner swings open the saloon doors and pushes you inside. Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep pops onto a table and shouts above the noise, You lazy drunken deserters are done! 
The steward guild has sent an enforcer here. Now you're all going to have to get back to your post. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers rises with a slight sway. We, you guys, three days to our ship, that's we return to civilization. So we're not doing any fighting unless there's trying to supply of ale. Right, lads? A raucous cheer erupts from the beer tankard, smashing together all around. So why don't you take your shiny little badge and shove off? What are you going to do? I'm going to threaten them. Suggest with a, with menace that the soldiers will report to duty or they report to the healer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit, chat. I think we're here. No! I won't be threatened by the legs of you. The soldier grumbles as he rises, followed by his friends. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. We're dead. It's nice knowing you guys. Taken from the dregs of society, elevated to petty positions of power, watchmen can block, greatly reducing the incoming damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. Okay. Just once. Oh, Jesus. All right. to get the counterattacks is, is a much more difficult than this one. Alright. Heroic sacrifice. Prior to combat with two or more monster cards, optionally discard a basic monster... Optionally discard a basic monster card, but lose your companion for three turns. Ooh, okay. For fame. Ooh, fancy. As soldiers fall under yet another blow from your weapon, the leader shouts out, Sam, all right, we'll get away from Just stop cracking our skulls. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah, it was nicely done. You're damn right. A vampire cannot oh, cross one water, water. These days, you must deal with far more mundane opposition. We're going to stand and fight. Absolutely. I want loot. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna sacrifice my companion just got a monster. It doesn't matter. At least I think we should be okay. Oh, these combats aren't easy. <laughs> He's got his bold swinging, baby. On the frozen plains, prey are few and far between. The keen eyes of a, uh, of a trapper see all. Trappers throw hunting traps and snare their targets. Use a bait to avoid the traps or change move direction uh, to rapidly to break free. Okay. Gentlemen, please. We can work this out. Hey, hey. These guys are doing. Woo. Right. Oh, I just hit my fucking companion. What an asshole. Dude, you gotta teleport the fuck out of there, man. 
trying to fucking mop up these mobs and you're over here fucking dying. Dying like a bitch. That was close, he almost hit me. Well, I had my shield up anyway, so I guess it's fine. GG. Now give me my loot for fame. Oh uh, yeah. Five max life, seven food, that's not right, good. 25 life, nice, because I needed that. The mountain is unforgiving. I want to get this first. first. I need more, uh... On its peak. Oh, nice. Make a donation. Heck yeah. I need to get some more blessings. The Temple of Divine Providence provides blessings in exchange for a simple donation. Yeah. Um... Plus 15 life for every gold gain card you receive. That's good. Plus 4 food after every dice gambit. Your max life is less than 150. You may discard food gain or equipment cards to receive plus five max life. Gain up to 20 gold in the beginning of a new map, even if you if you have less than 20 gold. Okay. Plus two to each of your dice during the dice gambit. Ooh. I think I like Divine Providence. That's pretty. Some really fucking legit cards. Really good. So what does Fame do? Just another currency? I don't know. This is the first uh, event. This is the first map set that we've had in which we've actually had fame at all, Vash. So, from, uh, I, yeah, so I don't know. Old witches. Oh, we found a witch again. I have a fondness for them, but I would not trust them. Yep, I, I, the develop, the, uh, it was, one of the guys from Defiant got back to me, and I am allowed to continue playing, fortunately. So that's very cool. Very awesome. Yeah, the only thing that they're concerned about is making sure that I don't reveal the final boss. They don't want me to show that. So, so we're just making sure that we don't, don't do that. Further up the mountain, the blizzard becomes so intense, you barely see the tiny cottage engulfed in snow. An old lady beckons you in. I've received word from my sister's hawk and have been expecting you. I may not be as skilled as her, but this blessing potion I've whipped up is my best yet. You think it's good enough to take the high priestess? She says, blowing the steam off a simmering bowl of thick liquid. Can you can you show us the final boss? No. I'm not showing you the final boss. I really couldn't. Uh, says Malaglips, patting his belly. Oh, boy. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, shit! You take a sip of a putrid potion and feel your stomach churn. I knew I shouldn't have substituted those cloud berries for bog berries, she says, comforting you. Choose the righteous path and you'll find blessings on your way, I'm sure. Step outside in the bush and cold and continue up Mount Freitas. Shit! In your life, you will have one choice. Endless yeah, very good intersections, choice. Yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? Not every temple has crumbled into the dust. More's the pity. Um, this heals a lot. Um, so that's pretty good. Plus four foods. Also, this is some really good cards. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna take this one. Fucking blizzards! Ah, 
the fucking fucking hay blizzards. Yay! When the howling winds ease, you clear the snow path from the cave entrance to discover the dark clouds have passed. Malaclips pours the firewood, saying, This log is dry enough. We can set up camp here for the night. I don't really want to set up camp, I don't think. Well, I could set up camp. I think I just camped way more times than I thought I was camping. Oh, never mind. Maybe not. Mages are hard to eradicate at the best of times. We have our ways of hiding from the light. Following Malaclip's cryptic directions, many of which involved borrowing farm animals, you arrive at the edge of a vast and lonely lake. There you uncover a cave and it's blocked by a stone door. We must seek out Ira the Veil in the underneath, the bard had explained as you followed a, a frightened cow around the previous night. Uh, okay. The bespectable, the, the bespectacled ogre manning the door to the underneath doesn't look up from his book and as you approach. Ten food items per entry, he grunts. Eliclip scoffs. Robbery! If you are trying to hustle us, sir, I'll have you know that I can shoot lightning from my fingertips. Doorkeeper sighs. Times are hard for us all, Mel. You've got, uh, you'll see when you get in there. All right, here you go. Have ten food. A narrow tunnel takes you from near below the earth, opening into a vast limestone cavern. Twinkling on the edge of an in underground lake lies a small shanty town. Red lanterns lining into the streets, lining the quiet streets. Malaclips leads on. Welcome to the under underneath, coin slave. Since the, that bothersome empire edict, we've had to hide away in places like this. This used to be quite the hub of activity, but now, he surveys the silent streets grimly. I guess the Empire is increasing its forces. A few mages eye you suspiciously as they pass by. Uh, okay, I know. We're gonna... We're gonna peruse the stores, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. Lelot's oddments, one of the curses and blessings. You follow the signs through the lonely streets until they lead you to a sizable hill of colorful rags where you're where you believe a market once stood. An elderly woman collides from the pile. Blessings, curses. You won't need either of them. I'll trade you all of them for this shiny rock. She offers what looks like a polished river pebble. No, no, thanks. Well, I'll be here. Okay. Lelot's oddments. I'm not allowed in there after I stole all those stupid pebbles. God damn it. With a jangle, you enter the dusty store. You find it filled shelves, baskets, glass cases with rocks of various shapes and sizes. The wizard shopkeeper Lilat uh, peers over the counter at you. Lilat lights up the suggestion. He waves his wrinkled hand and swears. You see baskets of giant boulders, smooth pebbles, and tucked away in the corner, a basket of rings. Um. Well, what would you like to buy? Everything is twenty gold apiece. What about a ring? Those old things, Leelot scowls, I would give them away for free if they weren't bound to me. I need your blood if you wish to take a ring. Um. Fuck it, let's do it. The old man pricks your elbow with a shard of green glass and allows the blood to drip into a vial. Satisfied he's collected enough, he twirls the vial into the earth. Ow! 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 Feeling like headed, you pick a ring from the basket. Gain plus ten max life when you have plus more blessings and curses. Nice, else. we have that. Any number of rings can be equipped at one time. Yep. Okay. Very nice. I could probably do that again, but. Let's enter the tavern. Malaclips breathes into the heavy. Breathes in the the heady scent of berry wine, smoke and feathers. Ah, the devil's ears, my home away from home. He pulls out his lute and leaves to serenade the uh, to serenade the pretty bartender. She tries her best to ignore him. A decrepit hag nurses a smoldering pint of glass at one end of the bar. Alone in a corner, a hooded figure lurks, unmoving. Let's approach the hag. 
Yeah, very, uh, very in-depth bash for sure. Like there's some, there's some, some real, uh, real complicated shit going on in a lot of these events. The warning crone sips her drink. It smells strongly of citrus and burning coal while sizing you up. You wish to buy something, do you not? She grins wickedly, revealing a mouthful of jagged yellow teeth. I can send you somewhere, no cost, but I cannot assure you that you will end where you want. No, I'm good. Thanks. You cannot discern any facial features from under the heavy hood. The figure nods at you. He has a grave voice, whisper quiet and hoarse. I seek an artifact of great power. Something that will twist the minds of my enemies and force them to fight for me. I will pay handsomely. Okay, I don't I don't have any artifacts, so. Metaclips leads the way through the dim, lonely streets of Ira's house. To Ira's house, you can hear screaming coming from within. A woman in robes adorned with silver ornaments greets you at the door. Merc said you would come, um, hey, begging for help. Regardless, you are late. Malachim bows with a grin. I have an illness. I'm hoping to purchase a cure. I read the veil frowns for a bit before nodding and letting you into your house, into her house. You enter the sitting room, and the source of the wailing is made clear. A man is locked in a cage, crying in fevered agony, sores of corruption festering on his body. Without warning, she opens the cage, and the man rushes at you. But with surprising strength, Ira subdues the mad, writhing creature. This is the mage, Cohen. He thought he could fight off the corruption, but he could not! Ira watches Malak lips carefully as Cohen cries to get more, uh, cries to get more and more guttural. What should I do with him? The bard looks away, disgust and fear on his face. He appears close to passing out. She nods before turning to you. Well, what will you do? Uh, I don't know. I mean, we could kill him, put him out of his fucking misery. As Ira holds him down, you end the mage's life. With that dealt with, Ira begins tinkering at a table strewn with dead and shiny things. I do have a cure, but as you know, nothing comes free with our kind. And she taps the silver dust from the bottle. Save the stolen mage shield for me, and I will give you the cure. Still, what secrets does your companion hide from you? Those Empire bastards have taken them to the some walled fort in the docks of the city. But you better hurry, your smiles with foul clips. That illness can't be held at bay for much longer, I'd wager. Yeah, we don't, it didn't say good or evil. I don't know if there's anything like that in this game. You know what I mean? I don't know if it, I don't know if that if there is any sort of good or evil. Light or dark side. A few mages eye you suspiciously as they pass by. I think we're gonna think we're done here. Mal? The bar turns around. You catch a glimpse of uh, a glimpse of hope in his eyes. She avoids his gaze. Take the children to the Medmen near Frostford. They run an orphanage. I fear it's no longer safe here. Now the confrontation. Are you ready to face the priestess of her no, people not yet. Hang on. and drive the deal the Empire has requested? There we go. Or will you turn and flee? I haven't gotten the amount of blessings that I require, so I don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, I need blessings is what I need, but I, not, I can't ask for blessings. May you live a long life, she says with a fragile wave of her hand. You feel warm sensation throughout your body. Alright. As you enter the Great Hall, towering arch doors swing open with a heavy creak. A giantess in a velvet robe enters, accompanied by raiders. Malaclips bows low to the ground. My companion and I have been sent forth to discuss a truce between the Empire and the Northerners, my lady. 
So they send me a silver tongued devil and his mercenary, she smirks. I hope for your sake you have a decent offering. Only five blessings. What a pitiful effort. With a flick of a wrist, bolts of lightning strike you. For not bringing up blessings, you have failed to win the gold token. God fucking damn it. You still have a chance to defeat this mission. Oh, even okay. if imperfectly. How much will this game cost? $25, Yodel Master. How you doing today, man? Welcome, welcome. Giants claps, the sound ringing in silent cold hall. Ha! This small thing survived it! Impressive! But if you wished to speak to me of a treaty, you must prove yourself against my champion. Jesus Christ. Um... I'm gonna discard that card and and sacrifice my companion for three combats. I think it's probably worth it because I get to get rid of like a boss creature. Well, not a boss creature, but the trapper guys are fucking annoying. So yes, Rene, yes you can. It's coming out. It's releasing tomorrow on PC, PlayStation. Uh, Xbox, it's been delayed, though, for some reason. Fierce, loyal, and relentless. Champion of the High Priestess. Berserker weapons are imbued with ice that slow their enemies' movement and attacks. Okay. I want to kill these guys first. Shit. you failed to bring me your offering. I'm impressed with how you wield your sword. Now hear my terms. The high priestess draws herself up, a towering figure draped in fur and wrath. The north will never bend to the empire. Blood for blood for blood. Those are my terms, small one. Those are my terms, small one. Let your leaders hear it and quake. With that, you make a quick descent to relay the message back to General Bradstrom. All right. Humble Hammer, Berserker's Creed, and Extinguisher. Winter Solstice, Burning Building, Temple Prayers, and Cartographer. Five food, warrior's axe, soldier's sword. Clearing out the rusty razor, I got friendly innkeeper. Yay! The stolen ones. So I didn't actually like complete this, unfortunately. I only got a silver. I wanted to kind of get a gold on all of them. We'll probably come back to that. I'm just gonna let it do whatever it wants. In this case, the Empress is a symbol, a leader of the Northern clans, but not their only one. Now
now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. The hunt for fame and esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride, your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder of Talos explains in a hushed voice. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this, he draws a large warhammer from his cloak. The threat was fire. It's the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Anger is a powerful force. Okay. So I need 20 fame in order to wield this weapon. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to a single target, impact tracks enemies, and causes stun. Cool. And bash causes additional damage to armor, heavy bash burns this deals additional damage to armor and enemies while they block, susceptible to evade, cannot repost. If the weapon is heavier than you imagined, perhaps weighed down by some hidden magic, preventing you from wielding its potential. Wielding it to its potential. Require 20 fame to equip this weapon. The other looks straight into your eyes. As though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may bear her desire. You do, uh, do well to remember that. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and, and defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. The village needs a hero. The town of Raiden is surely in danger and must be warned. Thank you, my trust the sacrifice tells us not, uh, not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. You'll notice that my carriage does not stop for every distressed traveler along the way. <laughs> yeah, all right. Let's try and get a 14 on three fucking dice. Why not? The woman says as you help her from the carriage. Please accept this as a token of my gratitude. 20 fucking gold. Let's go. 30 gold. Holy butts. And I got two fame. Nice. This particular card is below you. Even as it represents a quick means to easy profit. So I think I might lose fame for doing this. But I'm going to try and do it anyway. Because I want the token. Says, drawing a dagger from his robe and thrusting it in your direction, you clutch your wounded hand and dropping the spoils. Oh, I lost all of it. I'm fucking that up. Some back to Merrick, but he's nowhere to be found. Ah, what an asshole. All right, that sucks. Your supplies are running low. Make your yeah, choices carefully. I need to buy food, uh, like a lot of food. Let's go ahead and take a look at equipment. Yeah, I don't have enough money. Fires inflict 40% less damage. All right, that's the thing, I guess. Why, why do I have this? I thought I took that out of the deck. Oh wait, no, I did a default deck. That's right. Oh uh, well. I think I'm gonna just buy more food by healing. Nah, yeah, I don't need to do that. I'll just buy food. Strike burning the type building who put themselves in harm's way for the benefit okay. of others yet you're definitely going to be able to gain some someone fame from else this. sacrifice themselves for you you hear shouting up ahead as you make your way down to the cobbled street you see lights flickering on the road in front of you 
As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing out of its upper room windows. A crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. As you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading with the villagers. Please help! My family is in there! Anyone, please help! Yeah. L uh, let Malaclips attempt to rescue. No thanks, I I'm good. I I'll just send it myself. I'm not going to trust The wheel Malaclips is one of really my favorite innovations. It combines many different elements of our game into one. One of toil. Yeah, that's fine, right? I think that's, like, there's just an enemy that I have to fight, yeah? Through a haze of smoke. A wise decision. Through the haze of smoke, you find a woman's youngest daughter crying under a bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out of the blaze. Villager rushes to your aid. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can't. I can take it from here. But be warned, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. Dude, I'm fucking going in again. Let's fucking do it. Add another life pain card added to the wheel. Whatever, man. I got this. Easy peasy. Shit. Okay. So I got to I got to throw away my guy for four combats to uh, to be to get another chance of drawing. You find the woman's son attempting to find his way out through the smoke and flames. Grabbing his hand, you you lead him back to the building to safety. The villager rushes your aid. Thank you, brave adventure. I can take it from here. Okay. I'm not going back in there. Yeah. Fucking a fame. Oh, I need to save everybody. God damn it! I need. I need, uh, 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 to get, to understand more what I need to do to get the fucking tokens. Let us see what the next town holds. I gotta fucking save everybody. What am I, what am I, some kind of a fucking hero or something? A not village burns. The mantle of fame. Being you arrive to find under attack from raiders. All right. Village burns. Three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, "Please help! We must stop these savages before all is lost." Draw your weapon, rush to their aid. All right, let's go. Heck yeah, I'm gonna be able to do that. Uh, be able to equip that new weapon in more time, right? Wow, that's got a fucking hell of a range on it right there, but...
The Avatar during the fighting reminds me of Fable. Yes, I agree. Even in even in one, I compared the combat to Fable, uh, just largely due to the looks of it. Yeah. A remnant um, of the Templars and their religious righteousness. I do like this blade's okay. It's it's just like slower, right? It's slower. I'm not gonna equip it. I I, I like the I like the faster weapon the better. Thank you, hero. You've saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept a small token of our gratitude. Okay. Nice. Look at all this fucking food. It's not time to celebrate. They're surely mis uh, mustering to raid the town of Terran. They point further south down the riverbank. If you're a true hero, you'll surely save them. With another village lost to the northerners, you set out to the next town without delay. All right. Wealth through exploration. We have many lands to discover, you and I. If you cannot make use of this, I will question your skills. A traveling cartographer in the process of making the first full map of the Empire wishes to pay you gold for your information on areas you have seen in your recent travels. I need not know every stream or stone that lies from here to the capital. I'm sure whatever knowledge you can provide will be of some worth. Alright. Uh, actually, there are two revealed encounters on the map. Yeah, so I can return later. I'll, I'll come back and, and just come back soon. I'm assuming I'll get more gold, right? I'm gonna take gold. I'm assuming I'll get more gold. The more stuff I ever when a hero Raiders runs ambush. In, the villain takes their time to bait right. their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. A rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as the cords of the northern bola, of a northern bola, wrap around your body. Two double trappers, baby. All right, let's do it. I got my guy back so I can get some defense. Don't let them hit me! I'm too handsome for violence. No, I wasn't able to get my defense thing. Shit. Hang on a second. Do you fucking defend me or not? I have to wait for his fucking thing to fill up. Okay. Give me my bicycle. Give me my shit, man. Thank you. I don't want to take damage if I don't need to. No point. And you did. I really like the combat in this. Uh, a good bit more. It's like more challenging, um, but I'm, I'm like just liking it more and more and more. Like it's way, it feels a lot more satisfying to do well in combat than it did in the first one. Now which is the sweet. power is yours to use. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. You did. Search for spoils. Hell yeah, let's search for spoils. Oh shit. Steals three gold. What a jerk face. It appears you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. The raiders will hide from you no longer. You turn her desire over to your hands. The rune on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if now it weighs less or you have newfound strength. But either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Malaclips looks in awe. Wow, that would earn a pretty penny at the markets. But uh, first, let's... Take the, uh, let us use it to break the barrier in the northern raiders' camp. Slay the shaman and stop the raids once and for all. Yeah, of course. Remembering the elders of Talos' instruction, you set out towards the sanctum of the shaman. Locate the feet of the shaman. All right. All right. 
Right. Here's a token for you, you, if you can earn it. Spend several hours in his company until he's satisfied that, that you have nothing else useful to add. Wait, what? I don't get... What? Your I had everything revealed! with conflict and chaos, yet occasionally something merely pleasant slips through. You chance upon a wooden cart overflowing with pears, pies, and many other many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wafts from the carts. Poor Rochester, this is why you should never be seduced by the wiles of women in the coin slave. If you need to be on a bigger map, yeah, maybe. Uh, buy exotic lies. Ooh, you know. Tots, pies, exotic lies. Passes you a bag of luminous blue apples. Have you ever felt the feeling of your heart being torn from your chest? I have. But Chester stares at you so forlornly and... and so forlornly at you that you were forced to com comfort him before the transaction could proceed. Chester stares in a kind of wistful gloom at the exotic fruits for a while, before he finally decides on a price. Alright, 10 gold. Yeah, that's fine. That's a lot of food. Exotic cake, yeah. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. It is as the Elder Talos said, Malaclips remarks. The best shaman sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. All right. Raise the red desire over your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all of your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that, then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Malaglyphs, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing, covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bald he and has brutal. brute strength, if nothing else. He does not flinch, nor seems to even the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw-plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless her her kneel countless raiders. Oh, before her kneel countless raiders, worshipping their leader in an eerie stillness. My god. Is this out, out tomorrow? I'll love hand to pay one is a thumbs up on the game thus far so far. Yes, Mally Cakes, I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm actually the combat is like slower. Uh, more challenging though, and I'm finding like the better I get at it, like it's much more satisfying than the first game uh, to, to be successful in the combat because the combat in one was pretty easy, I felt, and, uh, and and this is definitely more challenging. Requires you to be more precise with your counterattacks, things like that. Different weapons like that you choose are are uh, kind of actually have bearing on, on on like how you how you play and stuff like that. So I like it. Yep, yeah, it comes out tomorrow. It's uh, twenty five bucks. I am right here, and we have things to do. The defender of the village and the exiled one, the shaman says with a hiss. She steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. Let this end. I hope you I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bald northerner calmly. There are more warriors here than we than than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off its head. You ready your weapon as the shaman and the clansmen surround you, okay? Great leaders are in the front line of the northern assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. The shaman casts spells that heal our allies. Attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. Excuse me. I do not get me fight. I will stand here of yours. Shit. Damn it! I can't counterattack with this fucking weapon. I don't like it.
suck it. Yeah, I don't like not being able to counter, so I do not like Warhammers right now. The shaman's body rises as a dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. She's the, as the sky is clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Colbjorn, he, he explains. I was born into the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost. Hey, we've defended, we've prefended Kolbjorn, the Wanderer. You and I have cleared a small path of the stain of my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Let us head back and find your friend. And with that, you and Kolbjorn make your way back through the forest in search of Malaglips. Another card returns to my deck. Do not worry. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. Well done. Another northerner falls before you. Armor of and gluttony. A new companion Ring of food. Your journey. Pious robes. Frontier barbot. Fame and shame. Watchtower. Raiders ambush. And bridge skirmish. And we got Heretha's, Heretha's ire. Clan Eyebright. And the Wanderer. I'm the Wanderer. I'm the Wanderer. I'm around, around, around. Spending all the villages, we got Elder's Gift. Yay! See, we got a gold on that You've one. done well. You understand the basic rules of the game now. From here, they will change. Okay, we're gonna do the Emperor, and then I might go back and do the High Priestess again. Bonus dice on this guy, though. That's pretty fucking sweet. Um. Hmm. All mages are my children. This one, however, I would rather disown. It's nice to have ones that we know are good, but then again, you know what? Screw, screw getting new ones right now. I'm gonna do token ones. I wanna get these tokens, and then I'll do new ones. Okay, except for I'll have the old maiden in there. Yeah, of course, Vash. limited to one of those but like I don't I don't even really like that weapon so 
I could gain plus five food right off the bat, or I could get a sword right off the bat, or an axe right off the bat. I'll just take that. These foes I place before you, these rules, I do not know truly if they will train you for the challenges that Callus will place in your way. Of course, we know how this part of the story ends. The Emperor is merely the face on the throne. Behind him, the usurper pulls the strings. The, the one who sits upon the throne of life and death has a great influence upon the world. Their very soul permeates the lands and fills the hearts of the people. All right. Well, I mean, if you say so, I'm just saying it. What's up, Mr. Screen Watcher? How you doing today? The shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself seeks adventures, guild members. Urgent expedition, vital to the safety of the Empire. About a crowd of travelers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering the reward just to set off on the expedition, even more if we make it back. That's how desperate they are for help. The Empire does not ask for much. More hand if they do, yeah. The end, they take uh, everything. Hand if they do comes out tomorrow, Mr. Screen Watcher. Yeah, uh, we got, I got, I got approval from the, uh, from one of the guys from Defiant to continue streaming. So, so we switched back to hand if they do again. On arriving at the gates of the royal palace, an armed escort leads you directly to the Emperor's chambers. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief council lays out the expedition. Few relics from the last age still endure in this world. If we had one in this very room until last night, she gestures to an empty pedestal. Not only must you reclaim the stolen symbol of our power, we ask that you gather its three sibling relics. All right. See our training officer on the way out. Okay. A keen eye will notice that themes repeat themselves. Events too. The wheel ever turns. You're greeted by Captain Estrella Fior. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Dual wield weapons are effective against fast enemies like these, but are weak against armored enemies like the Empire. I never understood the duel. If you are at war, use every tool at your disposal. If not, let things lie. From six strikes that cause stun to thieves, stunned enemies take 150% damage when hit. Against thieves, repose deals 125% damage. Okay. Okay. What's up, Sanchez? Still. You find yourself hunting relics. Do you not wonder why or what they may do? Yeah, what's up, Sandrave? Yeah, hand of fate too. It's cool, you like the weapon hit variation. Yeah, yeah, I like it. There's a lot of cards to turn over. Request takes you far away from the city. Vast wildlands stretch out before you. The companion even reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One relic was stolen by brazen thieves. Another one is in the clutches of a shady merchant. One is in, enshrined in a tiny northern village. As for the last, who knows? Okay. Hmm. A simple part of every story. Uh, from Especially the a tale spent in the, the company of, of the Rusty Razor and boon companions. Tell me about the latest rumors. Keeper tells you that the recent cheese festival has kept the inn busy and his coffers full. Okay. Yeah, I got a little bit of food. That's good. I don't think I'm going to try and head straight for him. Savor it. 
The wilds are welcoming, but their bounty, uh, their bounty plentiful. You harvest succulent berries from a nearby thicket. Nice, very good. What does required 18 hits mean? You get a bonus for hitting the combo? Yes, I get it. So that yet inattention leads Yeah, I need 18 disaster. successful hits Not in order to get the, the that uh, that weapon activation to function. The wilds are sometimes treacherous and harmful. God damn it. While traversing a dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing through the relative, relative unharmed, the relatively unharmed. Same cannot be said for the Pax Traveler's rations that broke your fall. God damn it. And so we see the home of the Northerner oh, and shit. his reasons for leaving. I can't do this fucking quest because I don't have any blessings. Even peace hides oh, steel Christ. within. Uh, so they recommend using one-handed weapons. Alright. At least I can switch my weapons out. I want to use the uh, axe. I, I'd much prefer a shield. Uh, this 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 particular event is open world. But this is the first time that we've ever seen this kind of a thing. His family lost. His clan turned against him. Colbjorn has traveled the south in search of meaning. When activated, Colbjorn performs a charging attack and causes stun and may knock down weakened enemies. Stay close to his charge. Uh, to stay close to charge his ability faster, okay? I wish you an honorable death. Rusty sword should deal more damage. I'm just saying. You know what I mean? God damn it. What an asshole! Oh man, what a dick! Plus two fame, all right. And we got the piece of equipment. Think about what has been lost simply to grant you comfort. I need seven fame, okay. Can't, can't even equip it yet. I don't know if I want to go here. I think that's going to be a camp, yeah? I could be wrong. I don't. I guess I don't know for sure. There is little I can say that will stop an adventurer pilfering oh, okay. ancient artifacts. The village of Dun Dunker... Durnich is unremarkable, save for a tiny near-forgotten shrine. Here you find another relic, resting upon a dusty altar. An old woman greets you. I see you are interested in our relic. Local legend tells of a time when a great hero will come to claim it. Until then, it remains here under our watch. I'm, I'm the hero. Woman scoffs. Oh, you require 15 fame. Okay, we'll, we'll come back for that then. We'll come back for that. What are your po opinions on the combat abilities? Are more refined than uh, Anna Faye 1? It's, it's more difficult, and, um, and it's much more satisfying because it's more difficult, I think. Yeah, exactly, Lazy Atheist. It should be more. It should be dealing more damage because it's a, it's a nasty ass rusty blade. That's what it is. Um, this map is fucking huge. I think I might want more supplies. Sustain you for a few days, she says. Okay. 
The open wilds. Wilds are welcoming. They're bounty plentiful. Discarded items. 15 gold. All right, let's fucking go. Treacherous wilds. God damn it. Oh my god, we're dead, chat. What the fuck? Oh my god. Oh shit. Oh, I just... I was supposed to switch weapons. Balls. Balls! Balls! Zombies so hard to kill. They're they're not they're not even zombies. They're like they just have like a nasty fucking rash. They just have like boils. Is this uh is this the action card game? Uh, if you've never played or seen or uh, played any Hand of Fate, then uh, yeah, it's like a uh, it's like a uh, the way that like your dealt events is kind of similar to like FTL in, in the sense that like you know you you, you kind of move from event to event and you have to make choices sometimes RNG based uh, if, you, if you know certain events like you have a better idea of what's going to be good or bad for you to take but instead of a real time strategy with pause in FDL's case this is like an action hack and slash uh, for dealing with your combats right nice alright what do we got here fashion enemy with block or remove their armor to cause a brief stun after every encounter with a gambit, reveal one random encounter card on this level. Only one helm can be equipped at a time. Sure. What does the ring of food do? Optionally discard any non-food card to gain plus two food. That's probably good, but I'm just gonna take this. It gives me more defense. Hardly elegant, but possibly effective. Fucking dangerous wilds, man. Okay, so light weapons are recommended against thieves. So we're gonna switch our weapons to our... Cutthroat's blades here. And I can't equip a shield, it won't let me. Like, it's there, but it's not actually equipped. Alright. Try to find a frying pan. I hear they work well as a, as a butt shield. Yeah. A lovely pair of fine blades. Fit for the finest gentleman. Well sharpened and well cared for. And deadly. Uh, this thing's don't fuck around, man. <laughs> I got fucking... All right. God damn it. I can't believe I got hit by that. These blades are nice. Yeah, dude, they fucking crazy. So that's the gameplay. I recall hearing the combat in the previous uh, Hand of Fate was grindy. Um, I wouldn't describe the Hand of Fate 1 combat as grindy. I would describe it as easy. 
Uh, and in this one, it's 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 uh, smooth. It's diff. It's more difficult, and that makes it for me at least more satisfying when I'm successful. And it's um, so I'm, I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Ancient Gain plus three defense. Have you have twenty plus food. Gain extra plus three defense for each do. additional five food. How to handle hunger Receive plus one and food for every gain food or gain gold card you receive. Nice. Yes. Let's equip that. Oh, I can't. I have need twelve fame. Okay, but I need food though. Jesus Christ. I'm out of. Yeah, I don't have any food. I'm just starving to death here. Yeah, rip. You are starving now. Every fresh encounter will cause you damage. I don't have Tread any food to lose, carefully. game. Puss, piss off. I am torn between my loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the Empire spreads. Halt! Vile humans! A voice calls out as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. It takes a moment to realize they're gnomes. Dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but most have only a rock or a sharpened stick. We seek arms to defend ourselves! A gnome declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you! We'll, we can even pay you something! I'll give you some food for a helmet, one of the small folk exclaims. No, give me some armor and I'll give you a health potion. Uh, yeah, all right. I tell you what, I'll give you my fucking helmet, all right? I, it's great, but I... But just take it. Great, awesome. Woo, that's a lot of food. Nice. Um... Oh, wow, this is this is good. Alright, let's do it. One more relic is. Now we found a stolen relic, he walked right onto me for some reason. These thieves, that is the true question. These erratic moves and cross right into your path. You catch them frantically loading these relics onto a horse and cart. Just hold them up for a couple minutes while we ready the horses. I just double check. This requires what does it require? Assault fame. Okay. This is what we got. All right, good. Sounds good. So yeah, the combat's a lot, like, you have to be way quicker in your counterattacks than you fucking used to. That one fucking guy, one guy, come on. Man, I'm goofing up all over the place here. What's up, Mephesto? How you doing today? It is not one game now, but a score. I fucking just Each got with its my own butt kicked. And delicate approach. I'm fucking chase down here. Twenty-eight gold is payment for your information. Yeah, sure, that sounds good. That's good. Woo, man! I was gonna say, I hope, damn well, hope that I, I get some for that. All right, cool. All right, let's try this again. Yeah, lots of gold if you return later. Yeah, but I mean, I'm almost done. Like, I don't even—I haven't even found a fucking shop. So, all right, we're gonna do good this time. If I just hit my fucking counters, then we'd be fine. Cause I do bonus damage to the counter attacks. I just need to not miss them. The fucking initial counter to the uh, camera angle initially was. Uh, <laughs> God 
Damn it. I only got eight fucking health left. One more hit and I'm dead. You, man, it's a lot trickier than it was in Hand of Fate One. Like we couldn't, we basically couldn't fuck up. Uh, you know, we couldn't, couldn't, couldn't get it wrong in the first one. But all right, GG. Eight health in a dream, Billy. Yeah, no shit, no shit, Mr. Screen Watcher. Can we get some wasps and arts and chat to welcome Mr. Screen Watcher? Back to the Wasp card, dude. Thank you so very much for the 13 months. Thanks for helping keep the content alive. Thank you so very much for supporting the stream. I really freaking appreciate it, bud. All the freaking love. All of it. Seriously, don't leave any of that love lying around in chat. You pick it up and take it with you, okay, bud? Thank you so very much. Curse, clumsy. All failure are considered huge failure in precision gambits. Damn it. What's up, DeBorgon? How you doing today, bud? You examine the relic closely and feel some sense of uh, great unease. Thank God I can camp. Good. Those who are desperate can never hope to get the best possible price. Your actions that necessitated these additions to the game, you understand. I knew you were approaching and tailored things around your lust for fame. You follow the sound of hammering into the town hall. Inside, a tiny man atop a stool, chipping away at a row of marble sculptures. Impressive, is it not? Sir Malifal Caleri is a great patron of hearts. You could be too. Marble sculpture, baby. 20 gold, let's go. Don't, don't fuck this up. Yes! You gain 12 fucking fame. Woo, let's go. Sometime later, you return to see the finished product. An exact replica of your stands in the town hall among sculptures of nobles. I guarantee such a status symbol will earn you great admiration of the people of the Empire. Did you understand the stakes you'd one day play for? When you okay, were we're gonna try and steal this again. Of unruly bondsmen. Okay. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That did not look like it. 
That did not look like it was... Ugh. Feels bad, man. I Shifty have little salesman. sense of trust for wandering merchants. True bargains are rarely found with those who are unwilling to wait around for their customers to test their wares. Right, I'll, just, I'll just buy it. Merchant seemed pleased with the sale. You recover relic. You lose 40 gold? Oh, God. I don't want to curse. Come on. Stop it. Lose one gold each time you were hit in combat. Max 10. Okay. Wits or weapons? As you approach Perhaps a bridge high in here. the mountains, you see that it is already occupied. Oh, boy. Oh, I could... I could throw a piece of equipment to, uh, to... Eh, I'm just gonna fight him. Fuck it. I got scammed. Nuh uh Yeah, what's up, chicken haters? How you doing today, man? Fuck you, you musket-wielding bastard. When I'm active in that fucking ability, I can't, uh... When I'm active in that ability, I can't, uh, do anything about it. Like, I can't dodge attacks and shit like that, which kind of pisses me off. Man, that's a hell of a fucking execution if I've ever seen one. Get him and dead him, boys. I'm a ninja. We're ninja in my paper. Go ninja, go ninja, go. For fame, and we get anything of value? One equipment from two, okay. Berserker's Creed. Deal more damage, the more life you lose in combat. Okay. I mean i not really gonna use either of these, I don't think. I'll the keep power this. rage grants is often misunderstood. Fucking dangerous wilds, man. Uh, yeah, we definitely want a one-end weapon here. So that, I guess I guess I should have taken the the, the other sword just for that. Because now I'm having to use this uh, shitty sword, and I could have been using a better sword. Oh well. Like we want, we want the shields that way we can actually block those musket shots because they're kind of fucking horrible. he was still going to be alive. Get out of here, you bowl of swinging bastard. Ah, damn it. Wasting my boot charge attacks. Get him and dead. Oh, 
bad. Ooh, fame. We got 32 freaking fame. Using the charge attack on the ground, that'll teach it to support your opponents. Yeah. Yay. I am the hero. Yay, we recover the relic. Ah, man, I really fucking hate these curses, but... Arcane Affliction. Lose one blessing after every combat in which you use the weapon, ability, or artifact. Okay. This relic is cur... Oh, before Colbert could finish, the relics uh, start to vibrate and hum, then glow with an eerie, unnatural light. Oh, shit. Your eye is drawn to a similar glow emanating in response from a distant tower. Do you think they're trying to tell us something, Colbjorn smirks? Let's get moving. Mm, I could go and get uh, some of this stuff, maybe. Here we begin to see the potential of cards based around fame. Oh, if you can force them from your deck and into your interesting. hands, you can begin to exploit We need if they had a fame bazaar where you could trade in for unique items. That could be a thing delayed. We just maybe have not seen it. Okay, so I need to have a platinum equipment in my deck if I want to have this card in my deck. Well, I mean, I could, obviously I can have it, but I just, yeah, got it. I gained eight fame, though. Forty fame. Bam, look at that, Jesus. Uh, all right, we'll go one more. Fire Burning building. is a symbol of so all much. Right. Purity, will, creative force, and power. A moment of inattention, and it becomes pure destruction. So I'm gonna try and save all of them here. It seems to go too past the one that I select, so. Nice. Okay, I need, uh, now? Now. Nope, it goes fucking way past. Okay. Duly noted. Oh dear. <laughs> Move faster next time. Okay. It was way faster. No. No, wait, Jesus Christ. Well, at least I'm failing and not taking damage. How many tries do I get? All right. Got it, Jesus. Just, like, I've just selected so early because it just spins like crazy. That should help. Put his armor on your shirt and quickly make your way out of the inferno. Nice. Thank you, adventure. You have saved all my family from certain death. The woman says. A reward yes, give me well that fucking earned. token. GG. Eight fame. Man, I got so much fame. I don't even know what to do with it. All right, let's go. I could camp just to maybe try and buy a piece of equipment or something, I guess. It's got a shield. Well, that's better than my shield, so I'll take it. It's a thing you put in front of you so people don't hit you. I'm sure you can work it out. begin to ask yourself how these threads connect. Were you simply a patsy for the Empire, or did you hope to be something greater? Yeah, name. 
Name claim to fame. Oh my god. It's been a little while since I've uh, since I've seen that one or heard that song. The relic leads you to a mysterious tower. You will need to ascend it to reach the mage of its summit. The storm swells ominously overhead. All right, there we go. As you climb the tower stairs, a voice calls down from above. Do you even know why you're here? How much did they tell you when they ordered you out into the wilds? When they sent you out here like a dog after a bone? Continue to wind your way up the tower. Finally reach the top of the tower. You've been sent here to do the bidding of the true enemy. These relics can be used to defeat him, but here you are, looking to return them to him. I see you bringing the relics, the mage says with a grin. A thief can't be trusted to deliver on a job, but one can always rely on the predictability of the Empire to send their dogs. She holds out the remaining relic, uh, the, she holds the remaining relic out mockingly. I suppose you'll be wanting this. Take it, she says calmly, but be warned, its curse will sap your strength and your will to fight, and combat is inevitable, I'm afraid. Or, she continues, you can let me keep it, but should you best me, it will be lost to you forevermore. Um... I don't know, chat. What do you think? If I go, there will be trouble. If I stay, there will be double. Hmm. Musical references. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna look. What did I do? Did I take it? Ragnar's Cursed Blade, the new wheel of the time will gain a curse. Can I be discarded? One random enemy in every combat inflicts double damage. Shit! The relic is heavier in your hands than you expected, and its presence clouds your thoughts. The mage laughs. Your imperial masters would be most proud. Prepare to meet your fate. Struggle to lift your weapon as a group of thieves join in the fray. Shit! went to extraordinary lengths to gather these relics. Mages shoot projectiles from a distance, use a bait to avoid their tactics. Got it. Yeah. Uh, shit. Okay, that's, 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 that does damage. Got it. Came in and just boop. <laughs> 
just knocked her right off the fucking edge. I was just about to do the finisher. He's like, that's mine! Bob taught me anything. It's stay out of the bad circles. Yeah, that's, that's definitely fair. With the relics recovered, you journey back to the Imperial City to claim your reward. Captain Estrella meets you at the city gates. I'll take you straight to the chief council. She'll be eager to examine what you've brought back. On the walk to the palace, you explain that you've safely recovered all of the relics. This may be a rare day when this council will smile, Estrella says. You can see her trying to catch the words as they've come out. My apologies. This is indeed another glorious day for the Empire. The chief council looks over the relics you've returned. You have done well. We shall keep these relics safe lest they fall into less learned hands. All right. Every part of this tale is a part of your history, a part of the reasons that bring you here. Our contacts, palace armory, exploring the wilds, a winding trail, deadly forest, my god. That looks awfully fucking deadly, I gotta say. Gambler's Jewel. I'll have to sleep, catch you later, have a good day. Our catch you later is Mr. Screen Watcher, have a good one, man. You're first person I've seen to do this mission correctly. Oh yeah? No one else gathers any gold? What do you mean, no one else gathers any gold? So they try to force the merchant to give it to them? No. Oh. I had so much gold, it was fucking ridiculous. Like I had, I had way more than enough gold. Lord's Diadem. The Billy Clubs. Hey! It's the Billy Clubs. Hey, get it? That's a thing. Cause that's, that's me, I'm Billy. Get it? Get it? You, get, you got it? You, you get it? You get it? Mercenary guy. Alright. Printing the Empire, he supplies a banana jewel. Brigand's Blades! Blah, 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 blah. Safely recovering every relic, we got Exquisite Blade. Ooh, and a man of the world. Interesting. Really helping the cartographer with his map. We got dual. What the fuck did we get that for? It's a bitter winter. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. Goodness gracious. see uh all right chat i think we're probably gonna be calling it here i reckon i think we're probably gonna be calling it here 